everybody welcome back to the channel today I am going to be making another Easter wreath but instead of making a round one I will be using a paint stick to create my Easter wreath so the first thing I will be doing is going over my supplies I'll be using one paint stick my last project I used two so if y'all haven't seen my double paint stick welcome wreath video I will link it right up there uh, I will be using these little decorative eggs some pink with cotton um, look like little cotton print or strips on it uh, some white mesh these are both 10 inches. This one is called a pull and puff mesh. I got this in my uh, mesh and ribbon haul. I'm not going to be using it as a pull and puff. I'm going to be just using it like regular. Um, hopefully it works. I got some 6 inch blue. I just want to put a splash of blue throughout. I'm determined to use this little bunny but on this wreath. And I have three six seven different ribbons um i will be using at least five of these ribbons and i'm going to be making me a big stupid bow <laughs> i also have some floral that i'll be adding to it and of course i'll be using my my snippers chanel stems my gorilla hot glue and my uh, glue gun so let me go ahead and grab my Chanel stems and I'm going to prep my paint stick. Be right back. Okay, everybody, this is how I prep my stick. Now, from the bottom, I go up about one inch and then I put three Chanel stems, one going left, one going right, and one going straight down. Then I go up about four inches, place another two, one left and right. And then four inches, another two, one left and one right. Four inches, another two, one left, one right. Four inches, another two, one left, one right. And about an inch from the top, I put three, one left, one right, and one going up. I also have one right here to add to the back of the paint stick for the hanger. So, so let me go ahead and add this to my paint stick, and then I'll show y'all what it's looking like. looking like I got three on the bottom four inches up from that two another two another two another two and then an inch from the top I have three I also right between the top three and the second set I made this little hanger here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add hot glue so these don't move around. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back to show y'all how I'm going to do my curling poof. Okay, what I'm doing now is I got one of these rocks. These are, I think, garden rocks from um, Dollar Tree. I needed something to start holding my mesh down. The scissors and all that other stuff. Just wasn't working as good. This has a little weight behind it. So what I'm doing now is cutting 16 pieces of this white mesh at 15 inches. So this is 10 inch mesh. I'm going over 15 inches and I'm going to cut here. I'm using this to make a cruffle on top of my pink mesh. So I'm going to make 16 of these and I'm also going to do 16 of the pink so let me go ahead and cut this up and we'll, I'll be back when I'm finishing up okay everybody I just finished cutting my mesh I cut the pink one 20 inches long the white one 
15 inches long and the blue one 10 inches long the blue one is Dollar Tree's finest just a six inch mesh it frays a lot so I'm going to be um, folding and crunching this up to make ruffles throughout the entire uh, wreath so I'll show you how I try to cover that up so first thing I'm gonna do is do my pink base then the white and then the blue so let me scoot this over a bit and I'm gonna do the cruffle method so let me get my trusty clip here I need a bigger table I can just see all this mesh just flying off the table but work with what you got so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl this about two to three times and then I'm going to clip it down in the middle and turn around one two and then I'm just going to and I'm just going to add it I'm starting at the bottom take this middle here and I'm going to add it to the right side here and then I'm just going to twist this up about two to three times just like that and I'm going to be using these Chanel stems for all the rest of the white and blue mesh and also for my bundles my ribbon bundles so keep this long do not cut this down yet you only cut the Chanel stems down when you're through with them at the very end so the next one I'm gonna do is the one pointing straight down so let me go ahead and get my mesh I'm gonna show y'all maybe one more after this one and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish up adding it to my uh, my paint stick and I'm going to add this right here Pull this down tight and then just send it around a couple right there and next I'm gonna do this one so grab one more and then I'm gonna speed through now the white I'm just gonna put the white on top of the pink one when I get to the blue I'm gonna stop it well I'm gonna slow down <laughs> to show y'all how I do the blue but let me go ahead Roll this three times, then add my clamp and go to this side. And then just walk your fingers like this, and this is how you make a cruffle. So let me go ahead and add it to this side. And then I'm going to speed through. Here it is, 
with the pink base. Now, what I've decided to do is I'm just going to add maybe eight of the white and eight of the blue because if I add 16, it's going to be up here and the chances of me adding a sign goes to zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some white mesh to this and the blue and I want it to be full, which this base alone is full, but I don't want it to be too full where the sign is like this high up <laughs> off of the wreath. So I'm going to add the white mesh to it and then I'm going to add the blue and I'll be right back when I start adding the blue. See how this goes. So. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So two curls and then a little mini cruffle. So curl this one. Flip it. Curl this one. Clip it. Pull this over. this over and then cruffle oh the fray is real with this Dollar Tree mesh y'all but work with what you got so. I just want a little bit of blue just to peek out so I'll put this at the top here And now I'm going to go down the other side here. And I'm going to put some bundles starting right here. Okay, and here is the base. Now, I have extra blue. 
because I decided to just sprinkle it throughout versus every single one and this is where the the sign will go so here okay, here it goes so the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to cut this off don't need these I'm also going to add some Chanel stems right at the bottom of this E and at the top of this E here to attach it make sure that lines up yeah So, let me go ahead and add my Chanel stems to this here. And I'm going to go ahead and prep that. And then I'm going to do my bundles. So, be right back. So, I just made a little mark so I'll know where I'll be hot gluing my stems. So, right here and right up there. and let it dry and now okay these are the prints that I want to use so I'm gonna cut two pieces of each one of these at 20 each so what I'm going to do is cut each one of these ribbon at 20 inches and each ribbon I'm cutting two pieces so each one of these will be at 20 inches so I'll have a total of 12 ribbon so let me go ahead and cut these I just realized that this is sheer and I didn't want sheer I thought it would be a solid purple so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is combine these two with a little hot glue so let's see how this works out to do now for my bow is 
I'm going to go ahead and dovetail one end of the ribbon. Just like that. Okay, so for my ribbon, I am going to fold it over to the 14 inch mark. And then I'm going to go up one inch to the 13. And this will make my six inch loops. Grab it like that and put it right here. And I'm going to get my yellow. And I'm going to do the same thing. This being as thick as it is, I'm going to go ahead and put a zip tie on it. So what I'm going to do is I need this to wrap it around it. So I'm going to add that to it. But I will be using a zip tie. So. Let me grab all of this up here. Right there. And now I'm gonna snip this off and fluff it out and put it to the side. Okay, here's my bow. It's complete. I have my little Chanel stem to tie onto my uh, paint stick frame. So I'll set this to the side. And now I will get my bundles together. So these are the ribbons I'm going to use for my bundles these for here. I don't want to use the sheer one or the four inch one. So the big four inch and the sheer, I won't be using those for my bundles. So I'm going to cut eight inches of each one of these. So I'm going to cut eight of these, eight inches eight yellow each one of these I'm going to cut eight and they're going to be eight inches so let me go ahead and prep these bundles and I will be right back camera magic okay everybody in case you didn't notice my nails are done which means it's a new day uh, it's been a couple of days since I left this off, but I am about to finish this up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my bundles on my wreath right here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two and these two. So what I'm going to do is take these. I know, I know these thinner ones, the one and a half inch, are longer than my two and a half inch. That's because I try to shortcut by wrapping it around this little mini cutting board and cutting it so I wouldn't have to cut individually. But as you see, this is about nine inches. So this one and a half inch ribbons are a little bit longer, but it will be okay. So what you can do is you can just fold it in half. About right here is the center and just add it to your bundle right here. So, let me zoom in so y'all can get a better view. I'm just going to snip it the reason I start doing it like this snipping off the excess after I twist it up is because I would forget and then I'd be going through it and I find some here there everywhere so this is easier so and then my next one here I'll be doing Fold it in about half right there. And then just scrunch up in the middle here. And snip this one. And I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to speed it up. So this right here. This is what it's looking like. So what I'm going to do now is add my sign. Now that my sign is attached, let me snip off the excess and hot glue it down.
Okay, y'all, I'm not going to need this Chanel stem after all. So what I'm going to do is hot glue my bow. Okay, so I just finished attaching my bow and fluffing it. So here it is. I didn't want it to um, cover up the W completely, so I hot glued one of the little tails over those two little holes to hold it down. And also, I add a mountain of hot glue right up there, so it's attached on there. And I'm also going to add more glue just to make sure it's extra secure. So. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some of the little egg sticks throughout. So. over these little centerpieces of my bundles. The way the sign is, it's covering a lot of the center uh, of the bundle, so no need to put X in the center when it's covered up. You can just see the uh, bundles poking out, and that's exactly what I wanted. So let me get some of this loose hot glue from everywhere. <laughs> and I was thinking, about adding some floral but really it's I feel like it's busy enough I feel like it's busy enough if I did add a floral I was thinking maybe Here. 
So let me go and I'm going to hang it up on the wall to give y'all a better look. Okay, everybody, and here is the completed product. Let me get a close-up for you. And here it is, right here. All the way down. from the side. If y'all have any comments or questions, drop them below. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I know, shameless plug, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.